Hey friends, it's been a year since I've posted a video. I know, a long time. And I, I feel like the reason why I've not really put up any videos is because there's already so many people put that put YouTube videos up on fitness type things, nutrition type things. And a lot of people put up um, Bible study type things. I mean, I go watch these videos because they inspire and encourage me. I like watching things that are going to encourage me. And I feel like, well, what more could I offer viewers? Um, so here I am. Let's recap. 2023. So I've read some books. I want to share with you the books that I've read that I highly, highly recommend. If you haven't already got some books chosen for 2024, these are some great options. So this past year though, for me, um, I like these planners, by the way. Um, I order them from Christian book distributors. They have a zipper so you can hold things in them. Um, they have scriptures for every day of the month and just so much um, help with planning your day and month and all that. So I use it kind of like a journal in some ways and tracking my progress. And really, to be honest, I feel like that I really haven't made a whole lot of progress. I've grown some in my faith I feel like I stepped out of my comfort zone and opened up my home to a bible study a women's bible study and um yeah I feel like that I've did a little bit more this past year than I have done I've I've slowly stepping out of my comfort zone slowly but weight wise in my by my body wise uh, you can see some of the progress pictures on Instagram, but, uh, I started at over 170 pounds and I'm in the 160s. Just be honest, not a massive amount of weight loss, but that's okay. Any progress is better than no progress. My son deployed for a little while for six months over this year overseas. He's back now and he's uh, we're very blessed that he's not too, too far away. Um, it's not like we drive there every weekend where he, he's stationed at, but he's close enough that he could come home on holidays if he's not working. Um, so the Lord has really been blessing us with that. Uh, so here's the Bible studies that, that I did at the house with an, at least one other woman was the Power of the Praying Wife. Excellent, excellent. Um, praying that your husband has a vision and praying for his health, praying for his emotions and praying that we be better at being wives. It's really stepped on my toes and helping me to sometimes be more quiet and not jump in to give my all my feedback to my husband but I love the the prayers at the end of each section and they're short chapters so if you want to step out of your comfort zone and do a little women's bible study at your home I highly recommend starting with this if you're a wife other books that I found very useful let me go with this one this one I got for $14.99 at a store called Ollie's or Ollie's. I'm not sure how you pronounce it exactly. It's by Louis Giglio. And it's Don't Give the Enemy a Seat at Your Table. It's about your thoughts. It's about your thought life. And I think that's how our lives are lived and controlled. We are so focused. Our thoughts really do impact how we live our life daily if we think negatively and our perspective is a lot of times on the negative side we're going to live out of that and same goes for positive if we're confident our thoughts are confident thoughts we're going to do that and this one i chose books that were easier to read over a month's time so under 200 pages usually 
So that one's another great one. Um, let's see. This Atomic Habits by James Clear. Excellent. I read this one before I read this one. And this is Christian Book by Craig Rochelle. I got that also from the same store as the other one uh, for $17.39. That one was, no, wait, no. I think I got them at Hobby Lobby. You're right. I got the I got these two books. I'm sorry, at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Okay, they got some good books there. Sorry. I did get some books from over there at Ollie's, Ollie's, whatever. But those two I got from Hobby Lobby. So um the these two are pretty much overlap each other. You know, so if you're not a believer in Jesus, then you could go with this one. And it's also, of course, about building good habits, thinking about your habits and your thought life. Again, your thought life controls a lot of times your habits. And Craig Rochelle in The Power to Change, he's got some videos from his church where he uh, goes over some of this. And uh, he brings up a lot of James Clear quotes. He will quote this book in this book. So this one also, but it comes from a Christian perspective. And it really, he has assignments at the end of each chapter. Exercises to do. Like here, um, he has exercises. So you're not left with just, um, just doing nothing. You know, just thinking about it. But things that you should be doing. So he has little exercises. Another from Craig, same author, Craig Crochelle, Winning the War in the Mind, Change Your Thinking, Change Your Life. Of course, these two would go hand in hand because they really, again, I really need to work on my thought life and how I view just things that going on in my life. Because you know the devil is going to try to get you to think negative about whatever situation. We've had so much situations. Whether it's my son's deployment. We've had roof leaks. Um, car breakdowns. We've had just stuff. Stuff happening. You know, everybody had stuff. Um, whether it's health stuff. It doesn't matter. There's all kinds of stuff. I've had bout of low blood pressure symptoms. I have actually passed out a couple of times. My blood pressure was fairly low. Don't worry. The doctor just keeps saying, my blood work is good. Just eat more salt. I'm a rare person. A lot of people have to cut back on salt, but I'm not consuming enough salt. I drink a lot of water that is ultra fil filtered. Like <clears throat> if you know the zero water filters, they're great at removing pretty much everything. Everything is removed from a zero water with the zero water even your sodium so I have to add back sodium into my diet so I monitor my blood pressure here at home um, let's see what else has happened my daughter recently got engaged so I'm very uh, thankful for that and oh gosh what else is there there's probably some other things um, doggies you know we always we still have our doggies and we take care of one of our daughter's dogs that's elderly and uh, getting close to the end for him i'm trying to think but yeah right at the moment our current issues is roof leaking when you have an attic no one tells you when you buy a house after storms you should go up in the attic and examine them after a heavy storm because you never know uh, with you have an attic, you won't know you have a roof leak until it gets through the attic into the ceiling and then your ceiling has a spot. So that's, we've had to deal with that kind of, and homeowners insurance people are not quick to um, replace your roof or anything. So I highly recommend if you own a home with an attic, after you have a heavy rainstorm, make sure you go up there, look at it, just do an examination to make sure there's no damage or any kind of water coming in. 
Um, I can't think of anything else offhand right now, but I just wanted to recap 2023 and share with you uh, a few things and encourage you never to give up. Um, you know, we're always, even small progress is better than no progress. So I, I'll go over in, in another video my goals and what I hope to accomplish in 2024. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to get the thumbs up and also subscribe so you can see hopefully some more videos that will I will hopefully post in the near future. And you guys have a great day and be blessed.